Good evening, YouTubers, fellow reloaders, reloading bench back with you once again. It is Friday evening, and this is the first Friday tea of 23. Oh, look at that. That's a wrapper. Mm. Ah, it tastes so good when it's room temperature. <clears throat> so this was uh, a well-deserved tea after how many videos today, which I don't know when I'm going to post, but... I think there were at least three, and one of them was a piece of cake, and the other two were kind of disastrous in terms of unexpected amounts of uh, disassembly in order to install my Christmas gifts. But now that we're into the new year, new videos. So, as you can see, this video is about sights. So, I am a big fan of the Magpul MBUS system. Love the polymer, especially, you know, if you don't have this right over a gas block so it won't melt. Um, they're just, they're, they're, they're the bomb for, you know, lightweight, durable as all heck, and uh, they're just good. So that's my two cents and my commercial for the MBUS sites. The reason we're looking at this Armor Con 1 MGP CQB backup site kit <clears throat> is for a couple reasons. One, uh, being the Magpul fan that I am, last year at SHOT, they, SHOT Show, rather, they announced the MBUS 3. And the pictures aren't so great, because the printer kind of Fs them up. But um, the big improvement on the MBUS 3 over the MBUS 2 is, uh, as you can see, and maybe you can't, but on the MBUS 2s, you have to have their tool in order to adjust the front sight. The MBUS 3 uh, has a redesign where you can just twist up or down. And obviously, uh, the rear uh, is a non-issue because you have a wheel. So, when I saw this, I was like, whoa, great, because I was thinking about getting some more MBUS 2 sites. And I thought, okay. So it shot, it said, coming spring 2021. And we all know 2021 was a, a disaster because of the fallout from 2020 due to the cough. So each quarter-ish, I would check Magpul site. And they just kept updating this. Uh, then it was coming summer 20. 21. Then it was coming fall 2021. And I think they were even trying to get it out, you know, before end of year uh, because I looked. <laughs> and uh, uh, here we are, January, early January, coming spring 2022. I'm like, okay. So, you know, these are going to be priced equivalent to what the MBUS 2s are today. You know, 80 ish, depending on where you get it, a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, or so. So you can figure, you know, 80 plus shipping, 100 bucks for the two, maybe 90 if you get a someplace that's not charging tax. So not too bad. Well, I was looking on my daily deals <clears throat> and uh, this came up and uh, came up and two things caught my eye. So this just arrived. I have not unboxed these. So this is the first look. Uh, but this is an optical version, so that's what caught my eye. So the two things that caught my eye on this, and the box does not look like, well, at least uh, this part uh, doesn't look like what I thought I ordered because what I thought I ordered, okay, this is interesting uh, non-opening box. Well, that's tight. All right, so what I thought I ordered was... And these are going to be, you know, comparable in size to the MBUS 2s. So, again, the MBUS 3 is supposed to be lower profile. I don't know that that's really a big deal. Um, you know, what does it matter how low this is on your uh, forend? But whatever. I mean, it's cool. Uh, lower is better, especially on the back with uh, some type, excuse me, of optic or red dot or holographic. So the big pitch was lower profile, lighter weight, and the thumb adjustability for the front sight. 
So what caught my eye on these is the fiber optic, um, obviously, and uh, I think these are pull, yeah, pull to to snap up as opposed to you know a, a tap with the Magpul. So a little more effort, uh, and obviously it would be much easier when it's um, on the rail. But uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't think these. No, you're not going to be able to see them. Well, you can see them a little bit better. But uh, the fact that instead of just having, you know, nothing and either, you know, a, a U-notch or a circle or a whatever, um, you now have fiber optic. So that caught my attention because I thought, oh, I've never had fiber optic on my uh, sights. And you can pick... Uh, what you want for the front sight, uh, whether you want um, green and orangish, I think that's orange, or if you want green on the front, orange on the back, and I can't remember if they offered them all in one color, like all green or all orange, I don't remember, but they had a lot of choices. But the really cool thing, and this is where, you know, hey, shame on Magpul for delays, because everyone else is starting to do the same thing so here's an adjustable up down via you know your finger as opposed to needing a tool so all you do is flip that to the left or flip it to the right and it goes up or down and there you have that so i thought that these were a pretty decent clone of the magpul mbus twos that are giving me some of the features of the mbus 3 the toolless adjustability uh, obviously the low profileness is not there but uh, who cares you know uh, ultimately how low your front sight is again the rear sight may be a little bit different because putting some type of optic by in back there so uh, i've seen where that's an issue uh, oh and they even give you a tool for installation how nice all right so now let's talk price 14.99 shipped 15 dollars for this set shipped uh couldn't pass it up in fact uh i might have to go back and get uh, another pair maybe i'll do some different colors now that i've actually touched this and uh it seems like it's uh you know pretty decent and uh, this is going to go on uh, uh, a project. So $15 for uh, an MBUS clone that is actually partially an MBUS 3 clone with the toolless adjustment for the front sight and the fact that it's got fiber optics. So I thought uh, those are all pretty cool. Um, I don't see that offering from uh, Magpul in terms of the fiber optic. So uh, I would say that's, uh, that's kind of cool. So um, that is tonight's Friday tea product review slash introduction. So again, these are MGP CQB and they're called uh, MGP CQB Backup Site by Armor Con 1 and they're the optical version. 15 dollars that is kind of cool so uh no dings on magpul love them but uh goodness uh a, a little bit different uh dare i say better not necessarily so i'm just going to say different product offering but uh you know very comparable maybe i should put the front next to the front uh actually a little thinner because you don't have the fins on the side uh, nice design. I mean, for obviously uh, Asianesium, it, uh, um, it's a pretty decent looking product. Um, I can't see where this would, uh, would be a no-go at, uh, at the range. And uh, we will take, when I finish the project that these are going on, um, hopefully in the next day or few, uh, you'll get to see what that project is when more parts arrive. So... Um, Yay on $15 knockoffs of MBUS 2 with some MBUS 3 
uh, product stuff. So I call that uh, kind of pretty cool. That's all for tonight. Bye, folks. <laughs>